Governor Gretchen Whitmer just announced that the state's 10-month hiring freeze has been lifted. But what does that mean for potential job seekers? When I couldn't find a job after about June or so, July, I decided to cash out my 401k. Um, and that was almost 27 years of saving. Catherine Lockwood explaining the struggles she's faced being unemployed during the pandemic. The Fowler resident was let go of her job a year ago and has been submitting resumes for state jobs ever since. And it's been nothing. I haven't been able to find anything. Finding a job has been difficult for others too. Back in March, Governor Whitmer released an executive directive explaining a hiring freeze for all state employees. This means filling positions, transfers, and even promotions were all put on the pause. The freeze has had an impact on all 47,000 state of Michigan workers. You know, our folks were working 12-hour days, sometimes six, seven days a week, trying to to catch up as best they could. Jeremy Tripp is executive director of Local 517M. The union houses over 3,500 state employees. Tripp said with the massive unemployment numbers and the hiring freeze, things for workers weren't easy. And when you talk about knowing that there's no help on the way, uh, that's very stressful, especially knowing that you're going through this pandemic for yourself and your family and trying to get these uh, additional burdens and stresses of the job done. Exactly 10 months after the hiring freeze was announced, Whitmer decided to lift it. We're told the state was able to save $21.4 million. For us, it's extremely encouraging. Um, the governor talks a lot about investing back in Michigan, and we see this as exactly that. It's an investment in Michigan's future. And as someone looking for state employment, Lockwood already has her elevator pitch ready. Would love to work for you. I work hard for you. I am a quick learner. Now 517M said they hope to add hundreds of new state employees to their union family. For now, we're here in Lansing. Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.